Hello, everybody, and welcome into another video. This week, we're talking about the new premium shop. I went ahead and bought all the items that I didn't have. I didn't have Bell's Royal Tools, and I somehow did not have this. I don't know why. I forgot to buy it that week. But let's talk about the gift bag bundle first. This is a bundle of three gift bags for 1,000 Moonstones. It kind of pained me to buy this, to be honest. I The first second I looked at it, I was like, why do we have gift bags with Christmassy themes on them, Christmas trees? Um, it is not Christmas anymore. But I think this is maybe an item that they forgot to put in the item shop during Christmas time. I'm not sure. But I just went ahead and bought it. Now let's take a look. You will actually find this item under the accessories tab in your wardrobe. It is not a furniture item. I repeat, not a furniture item. I kind of thought it was at first and I got a little bit excited about having the furniture item to set around my tree or anywhere in my house, but it's not you guys, it is an accessory. So here is the gift bag. Pretty much you just carry it around. Um, it's cute. It's nice to have a new accessory item since we only had the umbrellas for so long. The one thing that does make me excited about this item is that it could possibly lead to more accessories like this. Maybe a handbag that we can carry, maybe even a cute little basket full of fruits or vegetables we can carry, or an Easter basket full of eggs. Like the possibilities are endless. So I think it's a nice item. I think the timing is definitely way off on this one, uh, but it does open possibility for new things. I kind of wish that when you were carrying this bag, you had an extra row of storage down here because I think that would be kind of a neat addition that the bag actually had a purpose other than just being a cute item you carry. But this is what it looks like. I'll show you each one. There is the tree. Again, cute. The little yellow uh, tissue paper is nice. And then here is this one with the little ornament. I think if they had left the ornament off of this one, it could have been used kind of year round, but the fact that it has that little ornament just makes it a little too Christmassy. So these are the gift bag items. If you're looking for them, they are under your accessory menu. Next up in the premium shop, which let's talk about only had one page this week. It was kind of crazy that they gave us two pages last week and then this week we're just back to one page. I think maybe last week they were testing that out. Hopefully they'll go back to that. I liked having all the options and the extra page was nice. We were kind of spoiled last week with the premium shop. Um, I got Bell's Royal Tools. I actually never had those. So they look like this. They're actually very cute. They drop little petals when you run. And I think that's the main reason I got them because they just kind of are super cute for spring. So they have a nice rose on them. They're gold. And like I said, they drop little petals. It's so cute. I love it. And I'm pretty sure when you use them, yeah, they drop petals when you use them as well. So that's really nice. Here is the fishing rod. Oh, I must have a potion on right now because my fishing rod is blue. And then here is the little pickaxe, which is also very cute. So I just like the flowers. You run around, you got flowers falling behind you. Very springtime. And here is the hourglass. It doesn't drop nearly as many petals as the other items do, but it does have little petals that fall off every now and then, and it's super pretty. Next up, we have the winter celebration bundle, which again, I meant to buy this when it first came out, and I don't know what happened that week. I think I didn't even do the dream snap that week. I can't remember. That week was a blur, apparently. Um, but this set is really cute. I'm really glad they brought it back because like I said, I meant to buy it and I never did, and everybody had this cute polar bear and I had to have him. So there's a cute polar bear. Obviously, I probably won't use this until next year, but you know, the polar bear is actually kind of cute. He's not super Christmassy, and actually the whole set, even this one is not super Christmassy. Uh, it does have the red and green, but you could use this in maybe a theme park build for that and like a little kid area in a theme park. And you can use this little polar bear up in your frosted heights and it would just be adorable. Next up is this Christmas town train and this is totally worth it. I bought this back when it first came out. It moves, you can interact with it and it is just so cute. I can't wait to use it again. 
come Christmas time, you can also put things in the middle of the train. So if I wanted to take like this tree and put it in the middle, it will fit. Um, you're kind of limited on some items like the big Christmas tree with presents. I'm pretty sure that one won't fit, but come on. It's a Christmas train, so if you didn't pick this one up, I don't know. It's really great. I wonder if they'll bring it back this Christmas, but I did buy this one already, and I love it. So what did you guys think of the premium shop this week? Did you grab the gift bags? I mainly grabbed them to show you guys. I don't think I probably would have otherwise, but I am excited about the possibilities of more accessories that we can hold. Like I said, I want to see a basket with a bunch of fruits and vegetables in it that I can carry around or a little Easter basket. So maybe they're testing out that mechanic and I love that idea. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and comment below what you thought of the premium shop and I will see you guys next time. Bye.